Hello there, I'm Greg with Job Tips and Straight Talk. And today's Straight Talk visit with you is to talk to you primarily, I suppose, if you are one that tends to have attendance issues or the ability to really show up on time and be really, really dependable. So not so much that you're late every day or you don't show up once a week or what have you, but even if you have the occasional um, you know, you're late five minutes uh, because of traffic or you're late 15 minutes because you overslept or for whatever reason you're just not coming in on time and it's once every two or three weeks. For your employer to feel comfortable with you and to have a sense of feeling that you are a real team player, one who is promotable, or even if not promotable, but one who is favored by the boss, you need to have an on-time reputation that is unblemished. And on time, old military days, was 15 minutes early. So if you were five minutes late, no, no, you were 20 minutes late. If you've never been a, a manager or especially a business owner, an employer, then you might not have the same sense of the feeling that an employer has. When an employee shows up late one day, and maybe a couple of weeks later, he shows up late again, and maybe a week or two or three weeks later uh, has car trouble and just not sure if he can show up or, or not. Maybe a, a week or two or three weeks later calls in sick, <clears throat> maybe a couple weeks after that has another uh, ham hey, running behind episode. When those things happen on a not regular basis, but certainly not irregularly, the employer starts becoming gun shy and starts wondering, is he going to show up today on time? If at all. And if that employer has a service company, for example, and is dependent on you to be on one of the trucks, whether it's HVAC, if you're a carpet cleaner, or you're a roofer, or a landscaper, or a plumber, or electrician, what have you, the jobs that they book, and the scheduling allotment on the calendar that they provide are all contingent upon and predicated upon having a certain number of people on the truck or trucks. And if a person calls in sick, or I should say is not dependable, to even be there on time or be there at all, just because it's, it may not be every day, may not be every week, but it's every two or three weeks there is an incident. <clears throat> You can find yourself on the outside looking in because that employer will start looking for your replacement because employers must be able to depend on the workers coming in on time. So sort of a straight talk video because, you know, don't, um, don't ever have a sense that your job is secure even if you are the only technician that he has. I say, well, what's he going to do, fire me? Maybe not immediately, but certainly he'll be looking for your replacement. Your job is not as secure as you might think. So take that to heart. Take it in the right spirit in which it was intended and let it help you. Well, for job tips and straight talk, I am Greg. And I hope you have that job or career that you want to have. Take care.